Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, one and all. Happy Friday to all the cool people out there. How we doing? I am surprised to see such a vast swath of snow outside, but otherwise I'm doing pretty pretty well. But snow or no snow, they're still doing construction out there, so so pardon any background noise you may hear. I don't know what they're really doing out there. I like looked out the window like a few minutes before the stream started, and there was just a guy who was like kicking a hose. It was just like standing like next to a big hole, and the hose was pointed at the hole, and he just kept kicking the hose, and nothing was happening. And I was like, I better leave it to the experts, I guess. I don't know. Good to see everyone's doing well, though. We're back for the first time in a while with some Stardew Valley Expanded, of all things. It's been, uh, it's been a minute, for sure. I don't even remember necessarily what we were doing in Expanded, but I'm sure we'll rediscover it pretty quickly once we actually get into the game. Glad to see the return of Slip. Flip and Slip and Flop. There's the, all all the different characters, the new the new additions to the to the cinematic universe of Stardew here, as we have come to know it. It's not snowing there. You are sadly entertainment. It's not. It's actually not snowing anymore, but it is. Uh, it is. It is covered in a fresh blanket of snow, if you will. I think it's like pretty cold out there today. It's not bad. I mean, it's it's. I mean, compared to it, how it was like earlier in the season, it's uh, it's it's not bad at all. And hey, Floral Fjords, thank you for becoming a member at the Electron level. By the way, thank you very much. Enjoy your newfound emojis and your uh, and your trusty sword there. Careful where you swing that thing. All right. I don't know, no time like the present, I suppose. We don't have any fan art to go over today. So I think we should just uh, just go about our dailies. Our daily Poke Doku Puff Fertile 1-2 combo. And then we'll get into Expanded proper. I'm excited. I'm excited to go back into it. I'm curious to see like if they, like when 1.6 drops in a few weeks, if uh, Expanded will add any of its own content or... I mean, I'm obviously they'll have, they'll have to incorporate or they'll have to, like, sort of work around the new 1.6 content. I'm sure they've got a lot of work on their plate that way, but I, uh, I'm i excited to see how that might go, too. Either way, I digress. We're not in 1.6 yet. The 1.6 hype train is real. All aboard. We're, we're riding this thing all the way to the end of the line. But uh, for now, let's focus on what we can control, and what we can a little bit of daily stuff so let me load up my poke doku here oh no <laughs> oh no this, this poke doku looks like it's looks like my nemesis these the, these different categories are spooking me dude so here's what we got here's what we're dealing with right now Anytime I see can learn blank move, I, I just like freeze. It's like analysis paralysis. I just cannot. I just cannot. I can't. I literally cannot. But let's let's just piece it out, puzzle it out. You, I know Pokemon pretty well, so we'll we'll figure this out together. Pokedoku Master Level Puzzle, a flying type that can learn Ice Beam. So you would probably go looking for a an Ice Flying type, which would be Articuno, right? And I don't know if I have the brain power to go any farther than that, so I think I'm just gonna pick Articuno. <laughs> I've already guessed it as in, in, from previous times, as denoted by this, but that doesn't mean I can't still guess it now. So Articuno, all right, 51.1%. I, I should have seen that coming. There's obviously other flying types that can learn Ice Beam, but not top of mind. Flying type from Kalos, that's Generation Six. I'm gonna hit you with a little Noibat on this one. That is a dragon flying, little cute bat boy. There we go. Um, flying type from Sinnoh. Sinnoh is my bag. Sinnoh is my jam. We're going to go with Shaman Skyform. That's easy. All right, a dragon type that can learn Ice Beam. I feel like there's a lot of dragon types that can learn Ice Beam. You could go with the same rationale of like finding like a dragon ice type Pokemon, but you don't necessarily need to, I don't think, with this one. It, in that case, it would be Kyurem. Kyurem is probably the... 
most logical pick. Oh, there's also the new one, isn't it? Like Arctobax, Backscalibur, that kind of thing. I think I'm just going to go kind of normie on this one, though. Let's just go Dragonite. I'm pretty sure Dragonite can learn Ice Beam, right? There we go. That would have worked for Flying type. They can learn Ice Beam as well, now that I'm thinking about it. I'll have to think, think about that one in the future there. Dragon type from Kalos. I could go Noivern, just do the 1-2 the combo of those there. But I like Zygarde. I just, I just like this guy. He's just a cool-looking dude. One of those Pokemon that doesn't really look like a Pokemon, but, you know, they have they have to get creative. You have to do something once you get that this deep into it. Dragon-type from Sinnoh. Give me a little Gibble. Oh, I've already done Gibble. All right, in that case, we'll go Gabite. Just work our way up the evolution line. Perfect. Can learn Ice Beam and can learn Earthquake. You can learn Ice Beam and you can learn Earthquake. That seems like it could be Pokemon that use moves which copy other moves will not count. Pokemon that use moves which copy other moves will not count. I get it, all right? You don't have to... <laughs> you're copying your own move here. What are you doing? You can learn Earthquake and you can learn Ice Beam. Mamoswine? <laughs> I'm just thinking of ground ice types at this point. I was, th I'm th I was thinking Mamoswine, maybe Gyarados. I don't know if Gyarados can learn Ice Beam. I know it can learn Earthquake. But Ice Beam might... Be I, I can learn Ice Fang, I'm pretty sure. Let's just try Mamoswine. I don't even know if this guy can learn Ice Beam, to be honest with you. But it was kind of, was kind of, kind of my only real shot there. All right. Can learn Earthquake from Kalos. That's easy. That's going to be... Let me give me Diggersby on this one. Big old Diggersby. And can learn Earthquake from Sinnoh. I could just... I'm just going to go Torterra. I'm not going to think about it too hard, honestly. There we go. I at least got them all there, but I had, I had to think about it for a minute, for sure. Yo, Leapola, welcome on in. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. My, new, my opinion on the new Pokemon Legends. I actually haven't heard any of the new Pokemon news or anything. I knew there was, I know there is new Pokemon news, but I don't know like the actual specificity of it. Wormadam Trash. Wormadam Trash Cloak can learn Earthquake. <laughs> what the? Ball Toy can learn Earthquake and Ice Beam? I guess, you know, that kind of tracks, honestly. I need to learn more about these movesets, though. There's a lot of Pokemon that can learn Earthquake and Ice Beam. I don't know if Gyarados is in here or not, but... Gyarados is in here. Should have been the way. Mamoswine's the most common pick. Classic. Classic. Super hype about it. The new is it? It's so it's like it's like a Legends Arceus type, but it's a, a different Legends is the one that's been announced recently. But I don't know what what the type of Legends it is. I still haven't completely finished Pokemon Legends Arceus, so. Yo, best of luck, Katie Kruger, on your bio midterm today. You're going to absolutely ace it. I think I should watch the trailer. I definitely should watch the trailer, but probably not on stream. I don't know if I can get away with that. <laughs> All right. A little daily puff fertile to ease our way into Stardew here. What do we got? All right. Um, <laughs> That happens from time to time. That happens from time to time. I'm going to go ahead and start with the flounder, I guess, when all else fails. <laughs> okay. Weather is correct, so that's it's an all weather an all weather individual. It's not in the ocean or on Ginger Island, so this has got to be a freshwater fish, I would have to imagine. It could be a specialty fish, I guess. Because it could be like all season all the time kind of thing because the flounder is not all season all the time. Why don't we go, why don't we dip over to the mines real quick? I'll try an ice pip here. It's just that easy. It, I, it had me It had me in the first two there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, hold on a minute. But no, okay. Um, This has got to be a desert fish, I feel like then, potentially. I mean, it might, it might be something else, but I'm looking at this like season all, weather all. Location is not the mines. Time is not all, which could be... You could be a scorpion carp or sandfish. No? Okay. So, let me think. It's going to be a freshwater fish of some repute then. Because it's not going to be a specialty fish that's available all day. 
and it's not I mean the the scorpion crops not available all day that's kind of why my mind went there but this is an all season fish is largemouth bass all season I kind of want to say I I don't uh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if it is I'm gonna go smallmouth bass no. Okay. Smallmouth bass is not all season. All right. Largemouth bass. Go with your gut. Okay. <laughs> you hate to see it. Um, we got one last guess here. Will I be able to get this without even having like seen the fish? Smallmouth bass. So there's a partial overlap there. Smallmouth bass is available in the river and in the forest pond. Could this just be a carp? No, because the carp is available in the mountain lake, so there would have been overlap here with the largemouth bass as well. Could this just be... It's not a sunfish. That's, that's That doesn't make any sense. Could you be a bullhead? No. Could you be a chub? No. Could you be a shad? No. I'm just going over like all the freshwater fish at this point. Perch doesn't make sense. Um, Catfish? No. Pike? I don't think so. No, no, no. Bream? No. Salmon? No. You just you just gotta work through it. By process of elimination, we'll get there eventually, in theory. Tiger trout, don't think so. Chub, I'm pretty sure not. Bro, the fish this fish doesn't exist. Turns out this fish doesn't exist. I don't know. It's the mutant carp. That was a bream. It was a bream. Oh, I wasn't even thinking. Okay, yeah, and you know what? In retrospect, that does make a lot of sense. <laughs> In retrospect, that makes perfect sense. All right. Because the time, the time was throwing me. I was trying to think of like fish that were like earlier in the day. I didn't think of like late in the evening, but that's on me. That's on me. There's also the forest lake. That's just a 1.6 fish. It's all good. I could, I could blame the game and be like, the game didn't even show me the fish. It didn't, I didn't even get to guess at the pattern or anything like that. But uh, but realistically, given all the data points here, I should have been able to get there, I think. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Not bad for having not seen the fish. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm pretty sure I got all my mods loaded in. AKA just like the Stardew Expanded mods. If that ever happens to me, I can open it up in, the, in an incognito window to see at least how hard slash easy it is. That's a that's a good thought. I'll I'll try and do that next time if it uh, if it does happen again. I think it's actually on me. I th I think that I'm probably to blame for that one, for not seeing that fish's pattern this time because I th when I opened up the window for where like Puffertle is. Puffertle was still open from the previous stream when I had done it. And so I clicked over to it and like I think I think something bugged out there. I don't know. It was weird, but either way, it's neither here nor there. Bream's not going to get me next time. I promise you that much. Let me go ahead and load in. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause the music first. I'm going to pause our music here because we go in-game music with Stardew Expanded actually. Usually because you have it bookmarked and then you accidentally have the daily, yeah, it auto loads it. It's 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 kind of weird, but yeah, no, it's 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 on me. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we are loaded in here, locked and loaded in for another episode of fun Stardew expanded shenanigans. We don't need the death counter up here. We're not worried about that right now. Hopefully we won't die at all in Sardu Expanded, although, you know, stranger things have happened, I suppose. What time on the 1.6 release do I think I'll start my stream? Probably pretty early in the day, once uh, 1.6 releases. I want to start early and go late. <laughs> that is my plan right now. Alright, where are we at? What are we doing? Do I have any quests on the go? Find Mayor Lewis's shorts. That's a classic. That's an all-time classic right there. Thursday, Fortune Teller. Show me the bad luck. Okay, fair enough. 
Let's see, we got lots of... Oh, that's right, there's... Okay, there's this to water. These are like our summer foraging seeds, right? Okay, well, I guess I'll do it this way. Also, do I not have, like... Always show tool hit location. I want that on. That's kind of messing with my brain. <laughs> I'm so used to having it on. I don't know why it wasn't. This guy's silly lime pants. Be, be nice to flip. He's colorblind. <laughs> He's colorblind. We stand our colorblind king. We got a pretty nice setup going on here by the looks of things. Um, I don't specifically remember the re the reason, the rationale for, for doing all the things that we have done here. What do I got in the mail? What's going on here? Let's just rediscover it. Okay. Oh, Susan. My melons are growing like wildfire this year. Here's some extra seeds I got when I popped a number of them into my seed maker. She's just trying to flex her seed maker on me right now. Don't go trying to compete with me for the melon market, though. I'll win. <laughs> what the? That sounds like a challenge to me. All right. We're pivoting to only melon farming. Literally all melons all the time. I don't really have any other spaces to plant more, plant more crops right now. Well, not except for... Oh, I have to water this. I forgot to water the top part here. I could go get more sprinklers and stuff and try and... Uh, oh, there's no... Forgot the pond is like usually down there, or at least that's what I'm used to. I think there's a oh, there's a pond up here, right? Got our pond here. We got our we got three crab pots doing great work up here. <laughs> oh my god! It's it, this this day might be a bit of a write off. This day in the Stardew in the Stardew expanded ecosystem, it might be a bit of just like a wandering around kind of day. Is my pickaxe in for an upgrade? Is that why I don't have it on me, or do I just not have it? I, th I think it must be in for an upgrade. That sounds about right. Flip the melon farmer. Oops, all melons. Um, surely I have some bait. Yeah, we got bait here. Yo, Soda Pip, welcome on in. Good to see you. Start that there. Okay. I mean, when all else fails, I can I can look at like the community center stuff and see what I need to go about doing there. I can also go into town and just see what's going on. Is it anyone's birthday today? That's an important thing to factor in as well. There are many different avenues we can pursue here. Let's see. How is our community center situation looking? Brewer's bundle? We don't have any kegs, so we can't really start working on that yet. Summer crops? We've got all those in the ground right now. Animal bundle? We don't have any animals just yet on the on, on Sandal Farm here, I don't believe. So maybe we could start looking towards that. Fodder bundle, children's bundle. Oh, ice cream. We can we can buy ice cream because it's summer now. That's big. Chef's bundle, home cooks bundle. Yeah, maybe we should start working on like some some animals and stuff. I'm not sure. I do also remember I wanted to do the boiler room as fast as possible here, so we definitely want to make headway in the mines. We need to get that iridium ore, battery pack, refined quartz. Um. We can get the battery pack if we get a lightning rod, which we can get from one of the vault bundles. I never remember which one, though. I want to say it's the 5,000 gold bundle for the, uh, for the lightning rod. Either way, let's, let's go do a little exploring here. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these seeds away for the time being. Don't worry about those. We got a rare seed as well. I remember we got that from the from the secret woods. Yo, the secret woods. I remember it now. It's so it's so crazy in this uh, in this game. You think the children's bundle gives us batteries? I think actually you're right. Yeah, that is a that is kind of a deep cut of Stardew knowledge. But I believe that the children's bundle does give you batteries. I think that's right, Bunny Bucket. So the question is, how quickly can we complete the children's bundle because we can get the ice cream what am i looking i'm just i'm going all over the place here we can get the ice cream that's the chef's bundle children's bundle ice cream we need cookies we need cookies or an ancient doll to that effect we could probably honestly well if we upgrade the house well how do we get the cookie recipe I'm, i mean i can always check like evelyn's garbage for cookies there's always a chance there so we should probably make a make a habit of checking that just on the off chance we can get it. But we can also make our own cookies. It's Jazz's birthday today. Okay. Lightning Rod is the 10,000 bundle. Good to know. Noted. 
absolutely noted. How are you doing there, Maru? Sorry, I was just thinking about some gadgets I'm making. I've decided I'm going to build a robot someday. Hmm, foreshadowing. Um, sounds challenging. Best of luck to you. Does Gus sell them? I think Gus can sell them, but it's a, it's like a daily dish sort of situation. Also, can't forget, you got a pet our boy Dusty. You give Dusty many pets. As a male character, you get cookies in the mail from your mom. I feel like we already did based on my total earnings, because that happens like at a certain total earning threshold, I'm pretty sure. And I must have just like done something with the cookies. Or maybe they're in like a chest back at home. I can actually go have a look, maybe. Also, gifts gifts for Jas for her birthday. Do we have any um Do we have any recommendations? Do we have a command set up for Flip yet? For Flop, our pet dog on, on Stardew Expanded here? We do not. <laughs> but I'll, I'll give him pets in, in your stead right now. There you go. Good boy. Broken CD? Why would I be so cruel to, to Jazz? Let's see. I don't think I have cookies. I, I don't know what I would have done with them. But I don't think they're in here. Did I? Maybe I just like ate them. I don't even know. I see cookies I eat. It's just it's just a fact of life. We should probably work towards a house upgrade in the near future here. That might not be the worst idea. How much wood do I have on hand? I have 300 wood. I'd probably want more than that just so I like I mean I need what do you need like 450 wood or something for the house for the house upgrade? I've got this steel axe as well. I remember that now. We went we went kind of nuts on the on the tool upgrades last time. Um I can go back down to the secret woods and see what's going on down there. I think the only trash cans that can give cookies are Evelyn and um, and Gus, right? Evelyn because uh, because sometimes she has a bad batch, I guess, and then Gus because sometimes it's the dish of the day. I'm pretty sure. Little fiddlehead fern action going on here. Double fiddlehead, fern, quadruple fiddlehead ferns, even. Lost book. That was a sneaky little artifact spot there. Probably should have brought a weapon, I guess. Have I seen this before? A poison mushroom? An innocent-looking mushroom, potentially fatal if consumed. Yo, I found Jas's birthday present. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Maybe she'd like a Raflesia? They're, they're kind of pretty, except they do expel a foul odor. I'm not going to eat the poison mushroom, Chad. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the poison mushroom. Unless you dare me. No, probably not even then. Pink cake? I don't think I have access to pink cake just yet. Is there any reason for me to be out here right now? I honestly could not tell you. I mean, I did find some nice raflesias. Wake up, Chad. New sap just dropped. Oh, wait. Sneaky poison mushroom back there, too. I didn't, don't You thought I wasn't going to see that, didn't you? Eat it, I dare you. It's minus 250 energy. That's like literally all my energy. <laughs> it would literally bankrupt me energy-wise. A shrub seed? Plant these in the beginning of spring. Well, rip. Takes 14 days to mature and continues to produce until the end of summer. A shrub seed. Continues to produce until the end of summer. Can I still plant that? It says plant in the beginning of spring, so does that mean it won't grow because it's summer? Because it says it continues to produce until the end of summer. I don't know, it's like a weird wording on it. I've never seen anything like that, where it's like plant these at the beginning of spring. I got another shrub seed, though. It does grow. Yo, wait, I got- I see berries over there. Hold on a minute. Hold. Wait, what the, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! What are these? Red Bane berries? Minus 125? Why can't I find any good food? What is this? A delightful snack for birds, but not for humans. I'll take some red Bane berries. Don't mind if I do. It's so pretty out here. I'm not gonna eat the Bane berry. I will eat a field snack, though. Because I'm gonna die otherwise. <laughs> 
It does say it's a delightful snack, but you got to read the fine print on that one. The delight, the delightful snack for birds. That is an important part of the of the message there, dude. I got to get out of here. These slimes are tearing me apart. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. All right. Lots of forgeables. This is this is West Forest territory. There's a chest out here somewhere, but I don't feel like I need I feel like I just need to to leave right now. I feel like this is <laughs> I've I feel like I uh I'm a little exhausted from that endeavor. No, not not you, Lisa, not you. It's just it's just a quote from a I think it's a quote from the room, right? That's great. I don't even know where Jas is. If I wanted to give her a, uh, if I wanted to give her a present here, I wonder if it, is Andy home. Andy's Andy's not hanging out at home right now. Fair enough. Still haven't seen the room. I haven't seen the room either. I only know like the memeable parts of it. So I don't remember. All the gifts. I, like, I don't think we have any. We, I don't think we have access to any gifts that Jas loves. So we might have to settle for a gift that she merely likes. She's not home right now. Is this my chicken statue? If you want to make friends with Lewis, you can't go wrong with Golden Ocean Flower. I gave it to him one year, and he wouldn't stop talking about it. Dude, I want a Golden Ocean Flower. I didn't know that was an option. Are you kidding me? Marnie's Ranch. A golden ocean flower. That sounds amazing. Is that something I can fish up? I mean, it, sa it says ocean flower, but it could be a f uh, like a beach forgeable, maybe? I wonder if that's like a summertime thing. Oh, there she is. There she is. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. What if I give you... Is any of this good? I yeah, wait, hold on. The four-leaf clover, right? That's got to be... Isn't this like a, a universally liked gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. That works for me, honestly. Sorry, I think I bumped my microphone a little bit too. We take those. Sweet peas liked. I thought about that, but I didn't trust it. Got some forge out here too. And we're just going on a little forging run, don't mind me. Does it show up in Louis's love gifts? Oh, that's a good point. Now that Marnie said that, I might actually see. Ooh. Golden Ocean Flower leaves an everlasting effect when gifted. What is that? Sounds so ominous. What does that mean? Leaves an everlasting effect when gifted. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ominous. Very ominous indeed. I'm hungry. Where's mom? Don't worry about that. You're cursed now. Yo, Dermeister, thank you for being a member for 14 months, by the way. At the Neutron level, I dare you to eat the forbidden snack. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the poison mushroom or the red bane berry? <laughs> one of these is not like the other. I, either way, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that, but I, appre <laughs> but I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the generosity. Maybe the hearts that don't de don't decay. I don't even know. Golden Ocean Flower. It's got to be something kind of rare, but just by the by the sounds of things there. So if it gives an everlasting effect, you, you don't use the word everlasting willy-nilly. At least I don't. Speaking of willy-nilly, how are you doing? Thought I, I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Understood. Have a good day, sir. Did you know you got a smudge on your face flip? Might want to check the next mirror you run into. Oh, don't, all right. I mean, I was running around in the forest. I appreciate you giving me, uh, I appreciate you giving me that advice, honestly, Andy. We'll pop into Jojo Mart real quick. I'm just making the rounds right now. I'm just getting caught up with all the, all the townsfolk, the lovely townsfolk, new and old and otherwise. How are you doing? Can't say I know too much about Pelican Town. Sorry, I should be going. 
Dot, dot, oh no, she's hitting me with the dot, dot, dot. Claire is edging away from you, but I'm a paying customer. Actually, do you have anything I even want to buy? Probably not, huh? <laughs> That's on me. I was, I was being a little up in her personal space, especially when she's like at work like that. It's kind of, it's kind of rude of me. I wonder how many customers Jojo will gain this year. Is this all you think about? Our family grows larger every season. I mean, love him or hate him, you gotta admit, Morris is passionate about what he does. Does she like sweet peas? Uh, Claire? We can find out. Thank you. That seems very neutral. That seems like a very neutral response to me. Which is not negative, at the very least. But it's not necessarily what we were looking for, either. I will take this sweet pea in lieu of two stones. Check it. Oh, yeah, I guess I can ch actually check the uh, thing here. Claire is probably pretty low, actually. I haven't interacted with her all that much. Claire, Claire, Claire. She's got one heart. It is, it is a liked gift. It is a liked gift. Okay, so thank you is uh, is Claire's... She's, she's just a little, a little shy about it, I guess. That's good to know. That's a nice, easy liked gift for Claire. Pierre and Mr. Krabs give the same vibe. You're not wrong. You're always hanging out at Shearwater Bridge out here. I respect that. There's some great fish fish to be had out here. Tyler Watson, thank you for being a member for 14 months at the Positron level, by the way. Great to see me streaming again. It was it was a bit of a it was a bit of a while since I since the last stream of this, for sure. Okay, yeah, I can't go that way. I remember that now. That's like a different different thing. No, it feels good to be back after the after the move. For sure. You haven't seen Stardew Valley expanded before me neither. I mean, I've 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 been exploring it, but there's still I feel like so much left to uncover. I wonder if I can do anything at the Wizard's Tower yet. Cuz like when I went there, there he had like that whole like basement section with like magic and stuff, and I was like just so blown away by it, but I don't know if I can do anything with it just yet. There might be some other kind of trigger, or I might have to actually, like, go and befriend him a little bit before I can do anything with that. Maybe I should work towards befriending him. If that is the case. We got time. We can go see. Do you think that the wizard would like any of my my gifts here? He seems like the kind of guy that might like a red bane berry. I don't know. Like, red bane berry sounds like such a, like like, magical potion ingredient, doesn't it? I'm gonna go give I'm gonna go give it a try. I mean logic dictates that most people would not like the red bane berries because they're like ultra poisonous. But I feel like the wizard is cut from a different cloth. You're already shipping Flip and Magnus? <laughs> I mean, we don't know where uh where Flip's tendencies lie yet. We're we're still discovering. That's why I'm trying to interact with, like, all the different people that I can in order to in order to see what the vibes are like. How are you doing, Magnus? There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be patient, but there's too many mysteries, and I want to undercover them all right now. All right, do I try giving him... I don't know. I feel, I feel like Red Baneberry might be, might be the play here. I don't know if I want to give him my gold quality red bane berry, but I will. Many thanks. This item has some very interesting properties. Yo, okay. That was actually a good call. The rationale was correct. Look at that. Liked gift. Red bane berry. Perfect. Trying so hard not to give hints. I appreciate that. I don't, yeah, I don't think I, there's anything I can do down here just yet. I haven't been told that I'm allowed to use like these warp pads or whatever. Not in use. There we go. Red Baneberry. We found our first use for the Red Baneberry. I think... Wasn't it listed as an ingredient in a... In a cooking recipe somewhere? I think, like, one of the recipes that Gus sells, or maybe that is sold at the Adventurer's Guild or something like that, has Red Baneberries as a component. That It rings a bell. It's not the first I've heard of Red Baneberries, so... Might have to go looking for that. 
berry cake thing. It was some kind of like berry like cake or berry salad. Berry manilow, I don't even know. Either way, let's we did we I mean we didn't do much today, but we did actually get quite a bit of forage, so including a couple poison mushrooms, some rafflesia. I don't know if I should hold on to rafflesia at all. Also, my this chest is getting mighty full. Um <laughs> we're gonna need a secondary forage chest by the looks of things. I will I mean it's not gonna be pretty it's not gonna be an an elegant system, but I'll just drop one right over here. And we'll go ahead and just put in all the stuff that I could not previously plant or previously do anything with. Um or put in the chest, I should say. I can speak words good sometimes. These shrub seeds, I'm curious if I'm I'm tempted to plant them just to see. It continues to produce until the end of summer. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and plant these, I think. It says that they only that they would grow plant these at the beginning of spring. It doesn't say they only grow in the beginning of spring. It just says they that you should plant them at the beginning of spring. Maybe it's just like a little like tool tip like, "Hey, if you want to get the most value out of these, they'll grow in spring and summer." Maybe that's kind of what it's getting at here. But hopefully we can just uh just make use of it anyway here. So let me Get all my ducks in a row here. I will plant them. I kind of want to plant them in their own little, like, side thing over here. I want to make sure they're still in range of a scarecrow. But I'll just plant them over on the side here for right now. Just two little shrubberies. Two little shrubberies. There we go. A shrubbery. Plant one and keep the other. Too late. <laughs> I should have looked at chat sooner, I guess. Oh, well. What are the descriptions of the sweet gem berries and the ancient fruit seeds? We have one rare seed. I can check that. So in fall takes all season to grow. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. There you go. Good night, Flop. All right. We are in good shape. And my steel pickaxe is ready. Yo, is today a good mining day? Not not the best for mining, but the steel pickaxe is is tempting me to go that way, honestly, even so. What should I prioritize first, do you think? A house upgrade or like a coop or something? We have we have a decent amount of money. There's money burning a hole in my pocket right now, and I feel like I should probably be doing something with it. We got lots more money on the way with these crops as well. Coop? Coop is probably a, a good call, yeah. Because with a coop, we can get even more money. Like, a coop, like, is an investment in ourselves, whereas the house upgrade is... It's going to be great to have, especially when we need to, like, cook stuff, but it's not the, the be-all, end-all, you know? Also, maybe I should get more crab pots on the go. I've never really invested in crab pots all that much, to be honest with you. I usually, like, have, like, the three that you get from completing the crab pot bundle, and I never expand beyond that. But maybe I could be a, a crab pot enjoyer and start to expand it here. I don't know. Maybe there's new crab pot fish to be caught. Yeah, man, most people are saying coop. Oh, silo first. That's so true. That is such a good point. Okay. Um, well... Well, well, well. I should probably get more wood before I worry about investing in a coop anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop down some trees like around my farm, get things cleared out a little bit. You can get more seeds to make more field snacks and stuff too because we're running a little low on those. So I should make sure to chop, chop down a variety of trees to that effect. We've got lots of pine cones already, but we need some maple seeds and acorns as well how many crab pots does beatrix have more than three i'll tell you that she's got not not like a, a ton a ton but she's got uh she's got enough that's for sure all right maple seeds please there are also some seeds in the ground that i can pick up it's a little dirty up here it's a little dirty as far as like um just like debris and stuff goes 
You know, one thing I didn't even think about with the steel pickaxe, we can break like these big rocks and stuff now, right? Wasn't there somewhere that we were that we were trying to get with uh with a steel pickaxe? Like maybe like over here somewhere. There's like an, an area we can access. There's steel pickaxe, or do we need a gold pickaxe? There might have been like a meteorite blocking the way. I believe that like a gold a steel pickaxe will probably unveil some locations. But I think we need a gold pickaxe to go all the way over there. Which might be a, a good incentive to start working towards that, honestly. Because I'm so curious. Museum Station Danny, hello, welcome on in. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a little field snack extravaganza here. Should go pick up my steel pickaxe before it gets too late in the day here. I can actually craft... I can craft even more field snacks. So craft like three more field snacks. Use up all our acorns there. Might not be the smartest thing, but I'll take it. All right, and we got a decent amount of wood out of that situation. Now 377 wood total. Should I go for... I guess I should go build a silo. What do I need for a silo? You need stone, clay... And is that is it is it just stone and clay or do you need wood too for to build a silo? Five copper bars. Oh, we don't have the copper. Okay, I need to go get some copper then. I need to go get some copper, a copper situation going on here. So maybe it is a good time to go to the mines just to like re up on our copper then. Valid. Let's go get our pickaxe. I don't even know where all my furnaces are right now, to be honest with you. They're probably at the mines. I mean, I tend to leave them at the mines pretty much, like, all the time. Also, give me one second. I'm gonna go turn on my fan, because it is getting sweltering in here. I don't know why this room gets so hot, especially when it's, like, minus 12 degrees outside, but... <laughs> all right. Any help wanted quests to speak of? Ooh, we do got something. Also, I should... Um, we got Martin's birthday is coming up tomorrow. Any Martin enjoyers know, uh, know what this dude might like? <laughs> I feel like I have not interacted with Martin that much. Okay, this is actually pretty good, because I'm going to be going mining for copper anyway, by the sounds of things. So, taking that quest, it'll just give me a little bit extra money. Insulation game too strong? Apparently so. I never would have never would have thought you could have too much insulation. Wonder if it's anyone's birthday today. I already checked, but thank you for the good tip, Mayor Lewis. He likes ice cream. Do I like your bow? Absolutely. Top tier bow. Give it at least a 9.5 out of 10. You gotta leave some room for improvement. There we go. Steel pickaxe. Love to see it. Ice cream is an easy loved gift. Okay. I will endeavor to do that then. I didn't need to bring my watering can, I guess, but... Margo? I've, I've heard about Margo. That's like a mod... It's it's like it's like an overhaul of a lot of, like, Stardew's systems, right? I don't know the full details about it, but I do remember it from, from that Salmence video, yeah. I'd be, I'd be curious to at least try it out and see, like, what all it changes and just see how it, how it feels to play more than anything. But with 1.6 so close, I feel like... I feel like I gotta wait. I feel like there's, a, there's like, a lot of things I want to wait on until, a like 1.6 drops and then I can just, like, just explore so many things. Please don't destroy my tent. It's happened before. Can't make any promises. Depends on how how you treat me. You don't destroy my house, and I won't destroy your tent. We'll call it Even Stevens. Ooh, we got a little little artifact spot here. Prehistoric skull. I have not donated that yet. That's good to have. Anything going on with you guys up here? Mines are dangerous if you're not prepared. I forgot to bring a weapon! That's his way of telling me. You know what, that's... I, maybe I have a weapon here, though? It's po it's entirely possible I have a weapon. Oh, look at this. I got lots of, lots of metal bars on the go, too. 
Okay, I do have weapons up here. I've got weapons. I've got some copper ore, and I've got a lot. I've got a decent amount of coal already smelting, or already to smelt here. Okay. We go. We go Yeti Tooth on this probably. Doesn't doesn't matter too too much. I don't think. A Yeti Tooth. Let's go get some copper real quick. Is this still the copper meta? Is this is is this still a reasonable copper meta to go floor uh, floor twenty? That's the way I've always done it. But maybe maybe Stardew Expanded has tricks that I am not privy to. I don't know. Can we date Marlin? Do not remember. Let's see if we can find him in the list here. Marlin, Marlin, you cannot date. It's all right. I respect that for him. Don't smelt the ores yet. I feel like having the furnaces out here is not, like... It's usually a good play, but, like, in Stardew Expanded, when you don't have, like, ready access to the mines, because they're, cause they're, like, super far away, having the furnaces back at home, or at least having, like, a few furnaces back at home, probably wouldn't be the worst uh, idea in the world. Let me romance the old man. He does seem like he'd be an interesting character to, to romance, for sure, Marlin. Guarantee you there's a mod out there for it, so... If Stardew Expanded doesn't have it, there's there's bound to be another one out there. I'm, I'm pretty much, like, 90% positive of that. I can change where the mine entrance is in the settings if I want. Excuse me? <laughs> I can terraform the world at the click of a button. That's good to know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as it is. This is the way that Stardew Valley expanded was intended, and I want to experience it as as designed. Is that actually true though? That you can just like change the entrance to the mines to be like closer? Start smelting the copper. I don't want to smelt the copper because the um because we have to show it to Clint in order to get our money for the quest. Because we gotta get we need literally one more copper ore. That'll do it. A lot of copper from these veins. Do we, I might actually? Oh my gosh! Speaking of lots of copper, I might have the uh, the profession that gives me extra ore per vein. Definitely feels that way right now. Ancient Seed? You gotta try. I can smelt some, though. I, I can definitely smelt some now, because I only need to show him 30. That'll do it. Perfect. Alright, let's go Let's go show him 30, and then we'll, we'll come back and pick those up. We need one more immediately finds the mother load. Look, I don't control these things. I just... I am at the whims of fate. If they... If the game hears I need one more copper and they mean, oh, gotcha, and they hear like, oh, gotcha, you need one more, like, one more floor full of copper, then who am I to complain, honestly? Say hi to Robin real quick. Actually, there'd probably be a lot of people I can say hi to at the saloon today. I should go buy some ice cream real quick if it's... I don't know what time the ice cream stand is open until. I feel like it's like a pretty short window that, that you have in order to actually buy ice cream. Maybe it's still open? It's still open! Let's go. Alright, perfect. Alright, ice cream. We buy one for Martin's birthday and we buy one for the community center for the children's bundle. That should do us nicely. I wonder what Alex is doing today. Um, Haley? <laughs> you alright? Huh, I didn't notice you standing there. You didn't notice anyone standing here, apparently. What do you want? I just want some ice cream, man. I've got more important things to do right now. Alright, show me. What important things are you doing right now? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, he's <laughs> alright. He really, he's really living up to it. Fair enough. Alright. There's the ores, good sir. 
depressing, huh? You don't just have to, like, come out and say that. Was today Martin's birthday? No, it's tomorrow. I will- I might as well go drop off the ice cream at the community center now, though. I think I get the ice cream at the- I, ice, oh wait, I can donate the uh, prehistoric skull while I'm here, too. Museum should still be open. Bada boom. Perfect. Apparently I also have some rewards here. Jade Hills. I don't really have like a big enough house for that just yet. That's probably why I left it there. Should buy an ice cream for Flip too. He's been working hard in the mines all day. It's alright. Flip is made of pretty strong stuff. He can subsist purely on the field snacks. I wonder if Olivia or, or Victor go to the go to the saloon. Could not tell you honestly. I don't know if they're saloon going type folk. Also, I should probably gather the actual money from that. Just casually walk into their bathroom. Someone said ice cream for Susan, and honestly, that's your vote for the extra. We did just recently gain access to, like, the area where Susan lives. I should probably go and, like, pay more attention to, to like, her story. It feels like she's she might have a lot going on that I'm not yet privy to. She's such an enigmatic figure. Everyone was talking about Susan. Susan, Susan! And now we finally have access to her. All right, let me go to... I'm just going to go pop over the saloon really quick. 7, 7 p.m. on a Friday night, you know the saloon is going to be bussin'. Can I say that? Oh my gosh, look at this place. <laughs> look at this place. Olivia is here, look at that. Demetrius is busy. <laughs> Bro's dancing by himself in the corner. Sorry, Rob, I'll catch up here. My seamstress in Chestervale designed a beautiful dress for me. I'm looking forward to wearing it at the next town festival. I'm looking forward to seeing it then. Don't forget to compliment me when you see it, sweetie. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. It's all its all good. Don't I have work to do? Don't you? Victor is playing Pumpkin Smashers. I wish he would show me how. I really want to play Pumpkin Smashers, man. Kind of wish I had a cat. Unfor unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. You got David the guinea pig, though, right? Nah, Pumpkin Smashers is just not playable, unfortunately. I was I was very disappointed to learn that, but it is what it is. They've added a lot to Stardew Expanded. I can't expect them to add, like, a whole new little arcade minigame. Find anything good in the woods lately, Farmer? I did find some poison mushrooms. Haven't tried them yet, but maybe I'll make a little salad. I look puzzled. That's just my face. I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. Maybe you. All the friendship points. Let's go. Alright. Spotseed, welcome on in. Good to see you. Excuse you. Sir? <laughs> it, was just, it was just like one of those awkward meetings where it's like you like just... It's like when you like just walk out the door and there's someone coming up to the door, but they're, like, just far enough away that it's like, oh, should I hold on to the door, and, like, and should I, like, hold it open for them, or should I not? Am I good to just keep going? And you just kind of, like, it's, it's, like, just the exact right amount of awkward distance. One of my houseplants isn't doing well. Oh, no. She got infected with a fungus I didn't catch until it was too late. I need to do better. Susan looks... Aw. Pour one out for Susan's houseplant. That's rough. I don't know, maybe I can get her some, some something to help. I don't know what helps what helps a poisoned house house plant. Feel awkward when you hold the door open and the person starts running. I'm I'm usually that person that starts running. If I see if I see someone's like looking back at me and like start and kind of holding the door open, I'll start I'll start running up. I'll be like, oh, I don't want them to. Be inconvenienced for too long here. There we go. Do I have any ore I can smelt beyond that? I do have some gold ore I can smelt. 
Throw a little gold bar in there, why not? Okay. Leave the Yeti tooth, take the watering can. Anything else I really need to take from here? I guess I'll take the gold bars. They're not doing much out here. And we should be fine there. Poison mushroom to end its suffering. I mean, maybe she could just start growing poison mushrooms, then they can't get poisoned. That's big brain energy right there. You slow down so they don't feel obligated to keep holding the door open. But, I mean, if they've already committed to holding the door open and then they see you slow down... I don't know, I feel like I feel like you could build up some resentment that way. It, it depends on the situation. It's a very context-dependent sort of interaction. But I think there's multiple reasonable ways to approach it. I should clear out some of this debris tomorrow, I think. There's a, there's a lot of, like, just, like, wayward stones and stuff up here. We can definitely take care of some of that tomorrow. I also got to make sure to go commission my silo tomorrow. Don't let me forget about that. Because I now have the copper bars to do so. I guess I'll hold on to the ice cream because Martin's birthday is tomorrow. That'll be a good reminder. And uh, off to bed. There we go. Easy peasy. Level 4 combat, even. We take those. What do you got for me? Neutral day? Alright, fair enough. I should also check, um... Do I have any fish that I need to catch for the community center while it's summer here? Tiger trout's not summer. Um, tuna I can catch in the summer. Okay, I should definitely go try and get a high-quality tuna at some point then. And just another tuna. Red snapper... I think, wait, tilapia is summer, right? Tilapia can be can be caught in the summer. I don't know if red snapper can. Red snapper's a rainy day fish. I remember that for sure, though. Sturgeon can be caught in the, stum in the summer. While well, I cannot. Okay, so we should go catch a sturgeon, a couple tuna, and I believe tilapia is summer. Oh my gosh, we got, we got hot peppers on deck. Look at this. Yummy, yummy hot peppers. Um, do I need hot pepper? Do I need, like, high-quality hot peppers or anything like that? Or do I just need... I just need base-quality hot peppers. We, right, we don't have the quality crops bundle in this one. That's right, that's right. Oh, did we get a little... Did we get a little buffer? Got a little buffer wheel? Oh, I did... I do have 464 dropped frames, but it looks like the connection came back okay. Apologies for the, uh... For the inconvenience there. Hopefully it's just, you know, a minor little hiccup in the system. But will we back? we're so back. We're so back. Let me know if, if it's a, like a persistent issue, though. All right. A couple of mixed seeds for the road. Trees are growing as well. I think I think it's just like the, the wording on it that kind of confused me at first. But I believe that will be uh, will be fine there. Okay, I should I'll hold on to these hot peppers for right now. I'll take one to the community center. Um, uh oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on, wait, I'm holding, I'm holding. We got a little buffer again. Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Jojo's out here stealing my packets again. The connection, the connection was so good and strong all all stream yesterday. I don't know what's going on here now. Buffer the Vampire Slayer. Dude, you didn't have a buffer at all? I did get more drop frames on my end, so there must have been something going on there, but... Okay. Error, YouTube is not receiving enough... Oh gosh, I'm offline? Check my connection. What the heck happened? <laughs> wait, wait, Chad, am I offline for real? Wait, hold on. Oh no, it's falling apart. It's all falling apart. No data. Currently receiving no data. It's 
It's been smooth. Yes, I'm offline. Shoot. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? What is happening, man? Smooth as butter? No. I literally, I clicked over to like my YouTube thing because it said like you have like a poor connection. And then it said you're offline. And now it's saying excellent connection. There must be some kind of, there must be something going on weird there. I'm on? Okay. <laughs> Voice was choppy for a second. The network is, it's, it's telling me, it's, it's, it's saying like, it's hot, then it's cold. It's yes, then it's no. It's in, then it's out. It's, it's packets, then it's no packets. I don't know if I should have clicked that button. Uh, what is this? Wait, what is, hold on a second. Cancel. Okay. Test stream. What are you doing to me? Hold on a minute here. Live. Go over here. Okay, can you hear me? Hold on. <laughs> can we, can we hear me? Chat, I got sent to, like, the negative zone. I don't know what happened. So, <laughs> this is so... This is so cursed right now. Okay. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try to sitch in chat just for people who can't hear me. I don't know if... I don't know how many people can hear me right now. I'm gonna go... B... R... B... Gonna... Go... Try something. It looks, it's say like. You can hear me. Okay, you can hear me? Wait, you can hear me. Hello. 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 Say a word for us to repeat. Um, pasta. <laughs> If you hear me, say pasta. Say pasta right now. Your life depends on it. Your life and all the lives of your fellow chatters. All right. You can hear me. It looks stable for the time being, but I don't trust it. Try. I'm going to go try something. Yeah, okay. It's getting... <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go try something. One second.
Dude, Krobus is out here roasting me in chat when I'm not even here to defend myself? What happened to my lovable little shadow boy? What the heck? <laughs> Alright. I don't know if what I've done has changed anything. Um, well, first, I should, I should, I guess, test. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? I see Dragonic Moon says you're back. Probus, how dare you? We might, we might need a... I'll, I will get people in chat, I'll get everyone in chat to refresh, because I think that the stream delay might be a little cooked right now. And I think maybe refreshing will get us a bit more in sync. So, so F5, F5 to refresh or just, re or just refresh in general. Pasta, pasta protocol is active. I'm going to hope that, uh, that things are okay for now. Um, <laughs> I, I try, I messed around with some things and I'm going to hope that it stays stable and consistent. But I don't, uh, I can't, I can make no guarantees. Um, I'll probably, I'll try and look into it between streams as well if it, it ends up being like a, a consistent issue. But these are the trials and tribulations that come with moving. I, apo I apologize for the inconvenience and for the delays, but you know, new, inter new internet, new, new internet, new me, basically. <laughs> and right now, me is having technical issues, so, um, I apologize for that. We'll get things sorted out on my end one way or another. For now, though, cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the lovely Coral Island song, and we will make our way back to Stardew Expanded here. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna be eyeing my my connection like a hawk, and hoping for the best here. All right. Pasta with some buffalo mozzarella. You guys are making me hungry now. All right, silo reminder. Thank you, thank you. Silo is what we were gonna go plan to build here. I also need to water all my crops that are not um that are not sprinklerified. It's a real word. Trust me. Don't look it up. Okay, I've got my I've got my watering can ready to go here. Just until the connection drops again. Wait. We're so back. We're so... <laughs> it immediately went to buffer again. I don't know what's going on. And we immediately went back to buffer town. When I'm paused. When I'm paused, everything seems to be okay. <laughs> but then I unpaused the game, I started moving... And all of a sudden, it's like, it's okay, it's okay, Miss Palindrome. I see you say, I see you saying you're sorry there. I mean, it's previ previously old Argon, like when I, when like baby Argon, who was not used to streaming before, would have been more like stressed out by this. Right now, I'm just like, I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation. <laughs> it it was smooth for the first hour of the stream there. I might have to I don't know, might have I might have to look into an internet upgrade situation here. Kilobytes per second. I see buffering. I see no data. But I see people chatting still, so I'm very confused. It seems to buffer even when paused. I mean we were fine for a minute there. We were fine wait, hold on. We're here? We're live. Kilobytes per second. <laughs> His mom's internet connection less than my old place. It might. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I asked her about it, and she said that it was like a like a, the highest speed one that they had, but it might not be. Maybe she was mistaken because something is something is helter skelter here. For the moment, live there and back again. My mom is downloading games and using up all the internet. 
all the spliced sentences. I have no idea what's going on here. Wait, when I was back on this screen, hold on, when I was on this screen, we were doing fine. Wait, I'm just on this screen, I start, I start the soothing music. It is an ethernet connection, yes. Yeah, we're not we're not streaming off Wi-Fi. I've made that mistake in the past, and it's uh, and I've got the, I've got the Ethernet cable cable all set up. Totally fine on this screen. It's been like it's been sitting at like excellent connection, green bar for the past like two minutes or so. It's doing okay, but I don't know if I trust it. I don't know if I trust it. I'm a little spooked. Ha ha ha! You're just gonna tune into me like. You're just gonna tune into me like maniacally laughing. Oh no! And so then I told him, like, I didn't want the pasta if it wasn't cooked that day. Who wants day old pasta, man? Who wants day old pasta? It really is like. It's the worst of all worlds. Like, pasta is, is pretty good when it's, like, as leftovers or anything like that, but it's not... But if I go to a restaurant, I want the fresh stuff. I'll take the stuff home and keep it as leftovers, make it for the f for next day. But, like, if I'm, make, if I'm getting it at a restaurant, right, why would I want the leftover pasta? Like, I understand you have to make pasta in, like, one big bulk order, and you only have so much pasta to go around, so... It's, I, I don't know, maybe I just don't understand re restaurant economics. Anyway, what was I talking about? Are we back? <laughs> I started, I don't know, I started talking, I stopped talking about pasta. All right, I need to keep talking about pasta. Um, what's my favorite type of pasta? I like a little, I like a little spaghetti. I like a little raviolo. I like a little linguine, maybe a lasagna. As long as I keep talking about pasta, for some reason, my internet connection seems to be holding strong. It was literally the second I stopped talking about pasta and started re-acknowledging the, the, the evil gremlins that are stealing all my packets here. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Gavatapi. I think, though, un fun fun as this is to try and to try and find the the weirdest possible workarounds to to internet connectivity issues. Um. I can't think. It's it's it is not. <laughs> oh, this is brutal, chat. This is this is brutal. All right, hold on a second. Wait, can I add? Add. This is so cursed right now. I wish I could show you what I'm seeing right now. I, da I dare not click on anything else that, like... Because here's what happened the one time, is I was in the... Like, you YouTube gave me a thing that was like, Oh, you've disconnected. Click here to retry. And I clicked the button to, like, retry to, like, connect it. And it sent me to the Minus World Brothers 1. Like, I went to, like, just, like, the Shadow Realm. Where it, it loaded up, like, a test, like, a fake test stream. And it was like, is this... And I was, like, so confused. I thought I had, like, lost the stream entirely. Alright, oh, you didn't hear that part? It sent me to, like, the Shadow Realm. Minus World Brothers 1. <laughs> it gave me, like, a fake test stream. It put me in, like... like It was, like, a placebo stream. It's like, oh, here, you're still streaming, see? And it, was, like, it didn't have, like, any of the details of the actual stream. It was very cursed. It was extremely cursed. Okay. I think... I think it's stable enough right now for me to say that I'm probably gonna have to cut the stream early here so that I can deal with this and come back next week bigger and better and stronger because I do not trust this to... It was, it was going fine. It was going fine yesterday, which I which is baffling to me. I don't know why it's so all over the place here right now, but I think the best case scenario right now is just to just to call the stream here because 
It's not, it, we're not going to get anything done if we're if I'm constantly focused on this. It can't be an entertaining like experience for you, even though I'm trying to make it as entertaining as I can. <laughs> even when I'm, I, I can't predict how you're going to hear these sentences. This is the most unique streaming situation because it just keeps coming back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to start splicing together sentences and you're not even going to know what's happening. Like, I'm going to start talking about one thing, like, I'll start talking about, and then you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. You know, that's like, that's just like how things go here. Right now. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that it seems to be, it seems to be enjoyable to a certain, certain extent here. Oh my gosh, Dermeister with the 20 gifted memberships? Excuse me? <laughs> Hold on, maybe I should have poor internet connection more often if that's the kind of things that it's that it spurs on. Dermeister, thank you so much for the amazing uh support. Gifting 20 memberships. Holy mo look at the flood of green names coming in here. It just it it keeps on coming and it don't stop coming. Oh my gosh. Dermeister, thank you so much. That's crazy. That was that was about the last thing I expected when when looking at the, at the situation that I'm in right now. All right. Thank you very much to Dermeister for that. I think that's I think that's as good a note as I can hope to hope to end things off on here. Um obviously didn't want the stream to be this short, didn't want it to be cut off this way, but uh while this square is green, I've got a little green square that I'm staring at, and I'm hoping it doesn't go yellow or red. I should buffer more often, apparently so. <laughs> oh, me. All right. Um, we will pick this up next week, and hopefully in the interim, I will solve what needs to be solved and, and sort out everything that I need to here. Um, I, I apologize. I apologize. This normally doesn't happen, I swear. This is the first time, this is, well, it's technically like the second time it's ever happened that I've had to end a stream early because of, like, technical buffering issues. But the, but the first time was so long ago that nobody remembers it. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> Either way, I hope you had fun for the short little bit, amount of time that we were able to be here together. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all on the flip side, no pun intended. <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll we'll be back stronger and better than ever once we uh I know what the heck is is going wrong here. Probably just an internet upgrade issue. All right, well, then there it goes. <laughs> All right. Wait, it's coming back. It's coming back. Hold on. I can't, I don't even know if you can hear this at all, but okay. Excellent connection. I'll send you off with the fan art as per usual. Be good to one another, be good to yourselves, and uh, and check your internet before you start streaming. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you, and wait, hold on. Maybe I can, maybe, can I get my little, can I get Flip to say goodbye for a second here? One second. Wait, bring you in. Maybe the connection will stay good long enough, just, just, just long enough for me to, th thank you, everyone, for, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Bye-bye. All right, take care, everyone.